Okay, hey Jammers, RJ here back with another Play Wild video. So yeah, I think you guys saw with that little uh, mini skit. I do want to just apologize for being so inactive. I know it's been like two weeks. Um, I'll um, just going to put a little disclaimer as well. I do not condone selling items at all, and selling items is against the rules for Animal Jam, but if you do sell or buy items, please make sure to do so responsibly and don't push it on others. This is definitely no hate whatsoever on buying and selling items, so yeah, thanks and enjoy the video. I think most of you are also probably asking yourself the same question on where I went. Um, to say the least, my motivation for content making has been slowly decreasing for a little while, but I didn't want to completely ghost you guys, so I decided, you know, why not make another Let's Talk episode today? So this is a newest episode of Let's Talk, which is episode six, selling and buying items. So selling and buying items has been a thing going around the community for a long time, a few years, maybe even more. It started off on AJ Classic and then slowly started to go on Playwall as time grew. People sold items on eBay, Instagram, sometimes Etsy, and even on Discord servers sometimes even. A lot of the time, they would be very sneaky about it and depending on what money transferring app you used, you'd get the item either before or after getting the item. Um, so basically like trust trading but with money. Now, since many people worry about this and were also trying to be sneaky about it, there's a lot of pros and cons to say the least. Some pros is that yes, you could practically gain free rares, but still give the money in return. So let's say if you were new and wanted some more items to start off, you could like get gray curly for maybe two to three dollars. It would be that simple, but some cons is that it could be very, very easy to scam somebody if you're selling an item. And I'm not saying that every new player should just go ahead and buy items, but like, that's just an example in this case. And let me just tell you a story of a friend of mine who had some problems with buying and selling items. So my friend who used to buy items once got tricked, and let me tell you how. They found someone who took PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo, and they had PayPal. The item seller was selling green and teal raccoon tail, which I think normally goes for uh, $20 maybe? I haven't checked. Maybe more, but I think it's around $20. Uh, but this particular seller was selling the tail for only 12 so my friend thought it was just a rare find. And then they DM the seller asking if it was still available. I think the reason why they decided to try and buy it was because the seller did have a good amount of proofs, since normally when sellers sell items, they use proofs of giving the item to the buyer so other buyers aren't skeptical and that's just a way of showing how many items they sold and that they're trusted. So as my friend was trying to buy the raccoon tail they wanted to go after but the seller kept on refusing saying oh I got scammed or oh, I got scammed and etc. So they convinced my friend to go first and give the money before the seller gave the raccoon tail. That was my friend's first mistake. After the seller received the money, they said, okay, I'm getting on now, and then they blocked my friend shortly after. That just proves how easy you can get scammed out of your money, and it can sometimes even be as low as $2 from up to more than 200 and more, which is also why medals exist. If you don't know what medals are, they're basically someone who holds on to the item, etc. And I'm sure that if you've been in the AJ server, which selling and buying items as any of the channels, you also probably see a ticket channel or something along those lines with trusted minerals to help out. Uh, some people do agree with selling and buying and some don't. Me personally, I think it's whatever you want to do. Like, it's not really harming anyone if you're not pushing it on others. So I don't really care about those types of things. There's also another type of selling and buying in the game, but that's not money, but sapphires. And no, I don't mean just buying like a 5k item or under, I mean items that go for more sapphires than max, like let's say a 10k item, people can be just as weary and skeptical with those as well. It's practically the same thing, but without the real money part and like other money apps. Because let's say you were going to sell a glider for maybe 7k, normally someone would just put the glider for 5k and then another unwanted item for 2k to balance it out. But there's also always going to be a bit of a nervous feeling around this too, because there could be a chance that the person who's supposed to be buying the item could just buy the item and leave without paying the rest. It's happened tons of big items too, which is probably fair on why some people would need others to be bystanders making sure the buyer actually buys what they're supposed to. To say the least, if you're ever buying items for real money, always make sure that the person you're buying from is trusted and has proofs. A way that you can check this is the vouchers. Normally, if you're buying items on, let's say, Instagram, you'd be able to check for vouchers on a post they make. A lot of the more well-known sellers could have that post with other people commenting saying how they're trusted and etc. 
number two is checking the proofs again if this is on instagram normally a seller will have proofs in a highlight somewhere on their page and most of the time it'll just be them giving an item to another player to show that the buyer receive the item and number three is checking who their followers are and who they're following to some this may not be super rele relevant way to see if they're trusted but sometimes it can be and if a seller has other well-known or trusted sellers following them then chances are they could be trusted especially if that particular seller has some well-known sellers in their vouchers and a way that you can tell if someone is not trusted and yes, this is on Instagram again, is if they either don't have any proofs at all or vouchers. It also can depend on if they're trying to persuade you to go first no matter what the circumstances are and just checking if the vibe is feeling off either. So yeah, anyways, Jamros, that's the end of today's video of Let's Talk episode 6. Um, I will hopefully be out with episode 7 sooner or later. So yeah, don't forget to stay strong and run. RJ is out.